This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Camp Cadet is a very popular summer event in our area, and we have important information if you want to be a part of it this year. Well, here we are for another day of local information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ken Kara, and let's get right to it. A Hazelton man has been indicted on cocaine trafficking charges. According to the Standard Speaker, 34-year-old Ricardo Jimenez Rodriguez was indicted yesterday by a federal grand jury. He's charged with possession with intent to deliver more than 11 pounds of cocaine back on February 23rd in Cunningham. State police are investigating a burglary in Hazel Township. It happened in the 1000 block of Jeansville Road. Troopers say someone forced their way inside a detached garage side door and made off with these two items, an orange 125cc dirt bike and a white 450cc Yamaha ATV. Anyone with information is asked to call state police in Hazelton. Time is running out to register your child for two summer camps that are offered by the Pennsylvania State Police. Our Lisa Sugar has the details on how your child can be involved. You still have time to sign up for two very popular camps in our area. I'm talking about Camp Cadet and Camp Sunny Day, both organized by the Pennsylvania State Police. Trooper First Class David Peters is here. He's a public information officer at Troop N in Hazleton. And Trooper Peters, these are both wonderful experiences that you highly recommend. Absolutely. I mean, Camp Cadet is for uh, youth, male and female, uh, ages 12 to 14, that want to challenge themselves and experience what it's like to possibly be in a, in a law enforcement type of academy setting for a week. And uh, Sunny Day, again, an opportunity for individuals with special needs and disabilities to come out and spend the day with law enforcement and other organizations. It's just both fantastic programs. Now, when are each of these camps taking place? Uh, Camp Cadet is scheduled for July 12th through the 17th, and you can register now. That registration runs through March 31st. Sunny Day, you can register online, and that registration period goes to April 6th, and that is set for Saturday, May 9th at the uh, Pocono Raceway. All right, and Camp Cadet is at Penn State Hazelton. That's correct, yes. All righty. So you have a lot of uh, youngsters that come out each and every year for both of these, and they really love it. Yeah, I mean, Camp Cadet's a rewarding experience for, again, it's just not about law enforcement or becoming a police officer. It's about challenging yourself in life and pushing past some uh, adversity that may think is holding you back and to kind of teach you a lesson about teamwork and self-discipline and about really pursuing your goals. And Sunny Day is, wow, I mean, you could just smile when you talk about it because that's that's what it's filled with all day is individuals coming, you know, walking around with state police gear on or climbing in a fire truck and or seeing the inside of a state police helicopter or medevac. And it's just a smile from ear to ear. It's, it's just a great day. All righty. So now for anyone out there watching that would like to register, how do they do that? Uh, one of the quickest ways is to go to www.troopncampcadet.com. They can click on a tab there for the camp application. There's also a tab there for Sunny Day. You can go to the Troop N Camp Cadet Facebook page. Uh, both are there. Um, the Sunny Day is a little bit different because you can register online. So when you click on that, it'll take you to a new site or not a new site, a new page where you uh, put your information in. And once you click submit, it comes to us and uh, we're in contact with you. All right, two very wonderful experiences that happen right here in our area. Again, the deadline for Camp Cadet is March 31st, and the deadline for Camp Sunny Day is April 6th. Thank you, Lisa. Music will fill, fill the air tomorrow night at the Laurel Mall. Mall property manager Rocco Aruzzo tells us that five musical groups from the Hazelton Area School District will be performing tomorrow night starting at 5.30 p.m. The groups include members of the high school band and chorus. They will be performing on a stage in the Boscov's wing of the mall. There will be chairs set up so that you can stop and listen to these talented area musicians. Again, the music begins tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at the Laurel Mall. Funeral arrangements have been made for Schuylkill County Commissioner Frank J. Stoudemire. A public viewing will be held on Friday from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 9 a.m. until 10.45 a.m. at St. Charles Borromeo Roman Catholic Church in Pottsville. A massive Christian burial will follow at 11 a.m. Because of the anticipated turnout, a van will take people between the old St. Martis Church built parking lot and St. Borromeo's. To honor Stoudemire, Governor Tom Wolf has ordered all Pennsylvania flags at state and public facilities to be flown at half staff. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. 
And now our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight we have a 50% chance of rain and snow showers, well below of 27 degrees. New snow accumulation of less than a half inch possible. Thursday looks nice. It's sunny with a high of 43 degrees. And then on Thursday night, mostly cloudy, low of 30. For our Friday, we do have snow likely and then rain and snow after 10 a.m. High of 39 degrees, 70% chance of precipitation. At night, we have a 30% chance of snow showers mainly before 1 a.m. Low of 21 degrees. Saturday is sunny with highs in the mid 30s. Saturday night, mostly clear, low of 24 degrees. Sunday looks sunny with a high of 52 and Sunday night, partly cloudy, low of 35 degrees. Macy Alansky was a key piece for the Marion Philly success on the basketball court this season. Marion fought their way to the District 11 AA semifinals where they lost to eventual champion Monoy area 43-32. Lucky for Philly's Philly fans, Alansky will be playing her college ball close to home at Penn State Schuylkill. Alansky plans to study radiology at Penn State. Her, she's seen here with her parents, Scott and Heather. And in the back of the photo, we have Marion Principal Gene Susco, head basketball coach Paul Bruto, and athletic director Stan DeCosti. Calling all foodies, we have a story for you coming up after the break. See how the next generation of culinary experts are being trained in the Hazleton Area School District in our in-depth weekly feature. And in sports, it's a high school basketball road trip featuring the girls' basketball teams from Hazleton Area, Monoy Area, and Tamaqua Area. Good evening everyone, here's today's Talk of the Town. Eckley Miners Village will be having their annual Charter Day on Sunday, March 8th from noon until 5 p.m. For more information on the event, you can visit their website, EckleyMinersVillage.com. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recent departed. Louis E. Louis DeBellis, age 85, of Mountaintop. A memorial service will be held on Friday at 11 a.m. at the Butler Chapel of the Crofton Hughes Funeral Home. Friends may call Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. at the funeral home. Walter K. Ebling, age 95, of Whitehall. Services will be private under the Gilbert Funeral Home in Whitehall. Florence Moser, age 76, of Whitehaven. A burial service will be held on Friday at 10 a.m. at Odd Fellows Cemetery in Frackville. The McNulty Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Thomas Rock, age 95, of Freeland. A service will be held on Saturday at 12 noon at the McEwell Czech Funeral Home. Richard L. Stripmatter, age 72, of Whitehaven. A service will be held on March 21st at 3 p.m. at Christ United Methodist Church in Mountaintop. Friends may call on March 21st from 1 to 3 p.m. at the church. The McNulty Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Dorothy H. Urban, age 87, formerly of Hazleton. Mass be Friday at 10 a.m. at Church of St. Joseph. The Frank J. Bonham Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Russell Charles Warg, age 54, of Shenandoah Heights. No services have been announced. The Crofton News Funeral Home is assisting the family. And Mary Yadinsky of Shepton, Mass will be Tuesday at 11 a.m. at St. Joseph's Church in Shepton. Friends may call Tuesday from 10 to 11 a.m. at the church. The Stafford Brensick Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.